I may say a lot of problematic shit, but I don't hate anybody. Hard work, work. Good morning, everybody. You're listening to the Warm Up Podcast. I'm your goofy host, Lou Michael. We are driving in the gymnasium for a workout today. Uh, we're going to do chest day. Chest day is the best day. Um, more of a push day. But if you disagree that chest day is the best day, well, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, things have changed. Leg day seems to be dominant these days. And I get that. Um, it's for people who couldn't do chest day. I have no idea. I'm sorry I'm coming at leg day. It is weird. Um, I've, I, I know I've referenced it a lot, but uh, leg day is just really taking over. I guess it's because they're the largest muscle groups and used for mobility. But I got to tell you, having had tremendous knee injuries, uh, instead of squatting to look like an Afghan donkey humping RPGs over the mountains, uh, I just like to, I like to ruck march now. I put on a little weight vest and I walk and my fucking quads still look like horse legs, uh, which I think is the proper amount of quad. Uh, like a, like a stallion, because once you go for a mule, you know, just a working leg, yeah, people get angry. I don't know, leg day people get too angry. I don't know what that's about. Somebody gets too good at legs and their aggression goes up. Maybe it's because it's all that meat covering the genitalia. They're like, ah, nobody can get to my shit anymore. Touch it. <laughs> Ew, dude. Oh, but what a great use of genitalia. All right. Uh, <laughs> oh, what do we got today? Body weight, uh, 216, flat line in there, which uh, I will say this. I'm, I, I think I'm going to keep doing the Monday fasts. I've been doing 36-hour fasts where I stop eating Sunday night and then I just don't eat Monday. And at first it was to do a reset, but now I just kind of like it. Uh, So I'm going to, I'm going to see, we might keep up doing Monday fasts. Mondays already kind of suck. It's not really a social eating day, you know, if that makes any fucking sense. I don't know. I went to a wedding and uh, my I eat like a hungry, hungry hippo when there's free good food, um, which is probably an issue to itself, but we'll get there. Anyways, body weight, 216, goals 190. We're chugging along. We're chugling along. Uh, being a road warrior, uh, it's tough. Um, but anyways, and then what pre-workout this week, we've got bum energy again. Uh, we're going to do orange sunrise. And that's just good, you know? I will say this about Seabum. I don't know anything about them, but these pre-workouts, pretty good. They're not like overly fake sugary. Uh, they don't have a ton of caffeine. They've got enough to get you going. Uh, I don't know what fucking asshole. I think it goes back to the bang energy, dude. Putting 300 milligrams of caffeine in 16 ounces of liquid and then just telling your GI tract to figure it out, holy hell. Like every time I drink one of those those uh, pre-workouts or m- fucking crazy energy drinks, I immediately, my first workout of the day is opening my colon and just releasing whatever weight was bared up on the wall. So there you go, how's that, huh? Seabum energy pretty good. They don't make you shit your brains out before a workout. We, I, I mean, if that's your warm up, go for it. I'm not here to hate. No hate. You know what I mean? I may say a lot of problematic shit, but I don't hate anybody except for the, <laughs> uh, that's a fun, that'll be a fun cut. That's a fun cutaway. Uh, <clears throat> let's see what the hell else is. It? So, uh, I think I'm fighting off some sort of uh, disease. So I just want to go super spread, thin out the herd. You know, we got through the first couple of waves. Now I want to get the stragglers start spitting on handrails again. I say, uh, all right, good God, Lou, what are we talking about this week? I'm taking a weird way to the gym right now, throwing myself off. I've honestly just been in a cacophony of doing stand up comedy and painting Warhammer 40,000 models. Um, which, you know, I, that's good, I guess, but it's, we, I don't know. It's a weird speedball to go from doing stand up, which is a dopamine overload 
to holding small plastic soldiers still for hours in what feels like a torturous monotony. So, anyways, that's where I'm at right now. Oh, yeah, and then we, you know, we'll mix in some workouts and having some fun. Hope you guys, and, and surprisingly, like I said, not a lot of people watching, but of those that are, a surprising amount of ladies. Thanks for tuning in, gals. Guys and gals and everybody in between. See? Told you. Don't don't hate on anybody. You can be whatever the fuck you want and warm the fuck up. That's how that's how this mobile podcast works, baby. Uh, if I I will say, um, I the nervous energy I have today is I'm getting ready to go on a not quite coast to coast tour. But this upcoming weekend, I'm part of Let's Fest Comedy Festival down in Indianapolis, which is super cool. Uh, I'm starting to get into some some cooler comedy festivals. What's up? YouTube, huh? And any where I think Podbean, maybe? I don't know. I have no idea uh, besides YouTube where this long-form podcast is really at. It's out of my hands. I just fucking catapult it into the internet and let it fly. But anyways... Um, So stand-up's going pretty good uh, on paper, but on stage lately, I've just kind of felt stale and uninspired, kind of tired of all my old jokes. I don't hate my old jokes. Uh, I I think I've just said them too much, so much like uh, the the Pina Coladas and Getting Lost in the Rain song. I'm going to have to fall back in love with them by letting them go for a little bit and then writing an ad in the paper saying, hey, I want to fucking mess around on my jokes while they're not watching. And then when I show up to the show and start telling the jokes, I'll be like, what? It was you the whole time? And if you're with me on this deep cut reference to a song I didn't even give you the title of, way to go you. You're firing on all cylinders. If you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, come on now. That's why you're listening. There's some diamonds in the ramble. (laughs) Ah, fuck. That would have been such a better podcast title. Diamonds in the ramble? Nah, I hate it. We're going back to the warm-up podcast, baby. Anyways, so from Indianapolis, driving up to Chicago to pick up old Jimmy Couture. Then we're driving across the country with a couple stops in Cheyenne and Reno on our way out to the Savage Henry Comedy Festival in Northern California in Eureka, which is the weekend after Indianapolis. So uh, it's going to be a five-day jaunt. Uh, we're going we're gonna to make, a, we're gonna make a, about a 2,000-mile drive in three days, two days? I don't know. Jimmy and I are no strangers to being road warriors. We can do some trucker shifts and get it done. But anyways, so there's that. And then on the way home, Jim's flying back from... California. I am going to continue being a road dog. Uh, And from Eureka, California, I'm going to Salt Lake City, Denver, and then probably home. I may sleep in the city near you on my way home, but I don't, excuse me, I don't plan on uh, finding any other shows on the way home. And then mid to late October, got some local shows in Michigan humble bragging all over this fucking podcast. Lou, tell us about ATP uptake. Oh my God. Oh, protein synthesis. Talk about it instead of stupid, useless stand-up comedy. Will do. Look at this red truck. Oh, it's an old Tahoe? That's fucking massive dick energy. A rusted out Tahoe? He's going to be blasting out whatever hole he picks ain't going to be big enough. That's all I got to say about rusted out Tahoe drivers. <laughs> oh, God damn it. All right. So that's cool. Uh, I'm not going to tell you anything about protein uh, synthesis or ATP uptake because I don't know anything about those. I think I just said a bunch of buzzwords uh, and I'm not even sure that they do anything. <laughs> Look at that. I'm just kidding. They, they are real things. I think I'm talking completely out of my ass about them though. I I literally cannot get a diagram of a a biology, uh, high school biology book out of my brain right now. So we're just going to do a hard reset with some uh, orange sunrise and get to it. Oh, yep. That's a good reset. Thanks there, C-Bum. Whew. All right. Good ramble. Can we slow down? I'm going to slow down now. 
You're not, I'm going under the speed limit, man. Whew, second slowdown, driving by Johnny Mockney's place. If you guys want to Google search through the background where I'm at, just pass by old Johnny Mockney's place. So if he wronged you, congratulations, you know where he lives now. <laughs> I don't know the unit, but you'll figure it out. You can stalk the location. Oh, kiss and tap, and we're moving on. Okay, I will say this, this is going to be the uh, the second Tuesday, chest day in a row, I work out fasted, and uh, like I said, I'm also feeling a little bit under the weather, trying to super spread to the entire gymnasium, uh, so we'll see how the strength is, but uh, luckily, you know, um, I, it, it, I, I don't know, it's, it's not like incredibly hard to work through a fasted workout anymore, so again, just dunking on you with these humble brags. <laughs> Uh, I will say one of the other reasons I'm doing it, though, is I'm trying to uh, semi-aggressively lose weight again because uh, I don't know if you guys have ever woken up. And listen, you can wake up and look in the mirror and not be delighted with what you see. That's fine. But I woke up and it was like, uh, I had like an E.T. body moment where I'm like, oh, uh, that's just, it's not fat enough and it's not skinny enough to be delightful to look at. Because I'll tell you this much, sometimes when I see a delightfully fat person, where they just got it right. They're not like morbidly obese or sloppy, which if you, if you know, nothing wrong with that. We're just coming on in, aren't we, buddy? <laughs> We're going to look at this guy. We got to get eyes on this guy, huh? What, are you trying to go somewhere? It's a red light, friend. You're on camera now. Come on, dude. We live in the middle of nowhere. Why are you driving so fucking fast? Uh, <laughs> anyways... Uh, so I'm not body shaming anybody else except myself, but there's like thresholds, you know, and I see a delightfully fat person and you're like, oh, it's like tight fat. I don't know how else to explain it. You know, it's like a good structure or you, you're like skinny and well built, you know, muscle toned. That's nice. I'm in this weird, like gooey phase that happens during a cut where it's like there's muscle definition under there, but there's like fat that's not gone yet that's just kind of wiggling around it's real loose and it's not a good look if you've ever been on a cut before where you actually have some lbs to to lose you know exactly what the fuck i'm talking about or it's like you're down in weight you're feeling good but that is it's like um it's like a water bed <laughs> that doesn't have enough water in it so it's like just shifting too much you're like ew dude not a good look right now Weirdly enough, five pounds ago with the shirt off, I'd have looked like stocky and like, oh, that's a dad build. Uh, right now, I'm like, nah, we're going to keep that shirt on in the pool <laughs> right now until we lose another five pounds and stop looking like a weird waterbed and we get back onto the, you know, the, the cutting in the right direction train. Look at that fucking great time. That's probably on account of the sea bum energy. Energy you can bum around on. <laughs> hey, go ahead and fucking influence that, you sacks of shit. Ah, it's good stuff. Okay. Um, anyways, uh, this, ooh, can, can, can I throttle back into sincerity? I don't know. I haven't eaten in a day and a half. The caffeine's kicking real hard to temper. Oh, shit, my old boss is walking by. It's Steve. I'll tell you guys some Steve stories here in a second. We're just going to wave. He still lets me have a key to the back door. Hey. <laughs> hey, Steve. Steve fucking rules. If you know who I'm talking about, he, uh, he's one of the reasons me and five other comedians had day jobs with the loosest hours ever. Like, we would just day of be like, I gotta go on a four-day adventure to do some shows. Can I go? He'd be like, yeah, fucking, yeah, whatever. <laughs> just make sure somebody's cleaning the gym. We were all janitors at, at the gymnasium. And yeah, I don't know, it ruled. So anyways, nothing but high praise for Steve. Um, oh God, I wiped my mainframe there. Oh yeah, we're trying to get into sincerity. I think there it is. Uh, sincerely thanking Steve for being one of the most understanding bosses of all time. Uh, and to that, I will say, anybody watching right now, if you're watching and warming up, getting in early, huh? Rooting for old Lou, I'm rooting for you, you know? We're getting there, I think. I don't know. Things feel better, though the world feels worse. That's weird to say. Practice gratitude, I guess. Help people out in your own small ways. 
sage advice from a moron, huh? That's got to be fairly concerning if that's where the world's at. Breaking the fourth wall a lot today. Anyways, all right, warm-up song um, because you guys have been rad. And the warm-up playlist is available on the warm-up playlist On Spotify, I think is what it's called. I don't know. If you find me on Spotify, it's a public playlist. Anyways, this one I have been a jamming to. Found it on my weekly Discover. It's a cover of Burning Down the House by Fred Folka, Zen Freeman, and the Ampersounds. Uh, Weird that they don't credit uh, the Talking Heads at all. But it is, I get maybe a, a cover or a remix. But anyways, it's in the playlist and it rips. It's got... I, I told I told another fella from the old salsa parlor days. If you don't know what salsa parlor is, figure it out. Uh, but this song has a little spice from every one of the fellas in salsa parlor in like one song. I'm not saying we'd all enjoy it, but I am saying it does remind us of, of it does. It's a song that reminds me of all the guys. So, anyways, all right. I love you guys. That's the warm up this week. We did great. We turned the car off, huh? Look at that. We're doing great. I hope you guys are warmed up. All right, we'll see you guys next week. Oh, wait, no, maybe. Might not be going on to the gym next week. I'll be on the road somewhere, but I'll try and upload something. All right, love you guys. Okay, bye. Okay, bye.